Hi guys, um, we are still in Patna, um, a different place, uh, in amongst the eco lodges here, and we are just going to bring you another hip opener, slightly longer, um, so that you can really get into those hips and release it, and hopefully I won't get eaten alive here. Okay, so... Coming into the centre of your mat, toe mounds touching, feet in line, inhale, arms come on up. Reaching up out of your ribcage, elongate through each side. And breathe in through the nose, out through the nose, and then taking the arms down behind the back, interlace your fingers, draw them down and away, lengthen through the crown of the head, like that. And then tilt from the hip. And lengthen, 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 tilt, 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 as you bring your arms away from your body. Really reach nice and long, and then relax it forward. Bring your arms up over your head, open your shoulders, and then release through your arms. Slowly roll up through, engaging through your core as you come through, and shake it out. So, coming to the top of your mat, toe mounds touching, feet in line, inhale, arms come on up into your back bend and swan dive down. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold, step it back through your right leg into your runner's lunge and tick tock back and forth here. Left hand comes on in to the inside of the left foot and then open through your right shoulder. Lead with the shoulder, open through the hip. That's it, lead through the shoulder, open through the hips. If you want to, you can have a look at that top hand. And breathe. And then rotate back down, your right hand comes down, your left hand comes up, rotate through. Really opening through your hips. Breathe. And then both hands come down, step the left foot back to meet the right in your plank position and lower yourself down, press yourself through into your up dog and lead with your hips into your down dog and pedal out your feet. Send your sit bones nice and high, reaching up through, press your chest through towards your knees. Nod and shake your head, releasing through. And then reaching up through your right leg, step it through to the top of your mat and opening up on the other side. So right hand comes on the inside of the right foot, rotate through, left hand comes high. Have a look towards that top hand if you can hold your balance. Really opening through your hips and pressing your knee up towards the sky, your back knee. And then left hand comes down, right hand comes up, rotate through, opening up breathe and then both hands come down step the right foot back to meet the left in your plank position lower yourself down press yourself through into your up dog and lead with your hips into your down dog pedal out your feet send your sit bones nice and high nod and shake the head have a look towards your hands reaching up through the left leg Step it through to the top of your mat. Step the right one to meet it. And just hang out here in a forward fold. Inhale, exhale, and then slowly unravel using your belly button in towards your spine to come up to the top and shake it out. So, bring your hands up to your heart center. Step back with the right leg and lengthen out through both legs, hips towards the top of your mat. Inhale, lift and lengthen, and then send your hips towards the back of the mat as you come over the front leg. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold further over that front leg. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold. So you should be feeling a nice stretch up the front hamstring. And then bring your hand to your left shin, ankle, or to the floor and rotate through to open out. So you're really trying to open out through the top hip, 
and elongate through the front leg and breathe. So a really nice stretch into your hamstring, inhale to send your breath to your hamstring, exhale to release the tension and go a little bit further. So the way to go further is to rotate out further and elongate more through your toes on your front leg. Then rotating through, right hand comes down, left hand comes up and rotate the other way. Breathe. If you want to take that left hand to your tailbone, you can do, depending on your balance and where you feel comfortable and that stretch in the front leg. Then both hands come down. We're going to walk our feet all the way round and end up in our triangle on the other side. So, bringing your hands to your heart center and just elongate through the crown of your head and tilt forward, sending your hips towards the back of your mat. Then bringing your, your right hand down on the inside of your right foot and rotate through. Elongate through your arms, lengthen through and really send that left hip opening to get a nice stretch in the right hamstring. Again, placing the hand wherever it feels comfortable. And breathe through. And then bring your left hand down or to your shin wherever feels comfortable and rotate through the other side. Again, if you want to take your right hand to your tailbone, you can do. And breathe on through. And then rotating back down, walk your hands back round towards the side of your mat and you're now in your straddle pose. Just turn your feet slightly in so it'll stop you slipping. And you can walk your feet slightly further out if you want a bit more of a stretch through your adductors, the inside of your thighs. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold. And then place the left hand in front of your face and rotate through, right hand comes high. You'll feel a slight bias in your left adductor, the inside of your thigh. And have a look towards your right hand, just to complete it. Again, if you want to bring that hand to your tailbone, you can. But try and make the twist happen at your shoulders rather than your hand. And then rotate back down, right hand comes down, left hand comes up, rotate through, opening through your shoulders. So really try and get the line to come through your shoulders rather than leading with your hand. And breathe. And then both hands come on down. Walking both your hands round towards the outside of your right foot and press into the left lats and breathe into it. And then walking your hands back round and going towards your left foot and this time working into your right lats. You wouldn't believe how much your lats play a part in your hip um, your hip tightness. So opening through your lats to let go of your lower back. And then walking your hands back to the center and we're going to walk our feet in slightly and just so they're about one leg length apart. And 
then taking your right hand towards your left ankle shin wherever's comfortable and your left hand towards your right ankle or shin and you're bringing your left ear to your left bicep and trying to look through so we're adding a twist onto it what that does is that adds more of a stretch into your right adductor so you should feel it pulling up the inside of your thigh but also the outside of the left lower back and then walking your hands round and this time bringing your right hand towards your left shin and your left hand towards your right right ear to right bicep and rotate through breathe through. We're now going to walk our hands all the way over to the right side and then add a bend into our right knee so that we get a nice stretch on the inside of the left adductor and you might feel it around the top of the hip and that's just where your the outside glutes get a little bit pinched so it might mean that you just need to do some nice stretches for your glutes or get out a tennis ball and loosen them up some nice myofascial release. So rotating through the left leg, toes come forward, toes come up. It's all happening at the hip. So you're just getting that rotation to free off into the hip joint. A bit of hamstrings, a bit of adductors, really opening up. and then sending your weight back across to the other side. Now you're coming down onto a bent knee on your left side and you're opening up through your right adductor and hamstring. So again, rotating through from the hip. And really open, 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 open. And use your breath. through that leg so you're trying to make everything as long as you possibly can and then you're walking your hands back into the center walk your feet in slightly a couple of times and then sitting down into your malasana or your hindi squat hindi sit and just press the knees out to the side with your elbows so Again, you're sending your sit bones down, pressing your heart center through and lifting through the crown of your head. So you're really making a nice long spine for yourself. If you're struggling with this, you can have a ball or like a Pilates style ball or a block behind you to sit on. Um, say sit on, you just want it there to catch you if you fall and just easing into each ankle to try and get your feet nice and flat and then pressing the knees out to the side. If you've got any cartilage issues in your knee, just be careful about how much rotation you add to this. But all in all, I've had my cartilage operated on so uh, eventually it should be fine to do. So left hand comes down, right hand comes up, reach up, reach up, reach up, opening through the hips and then come down, right hand comes down, left hand comes up, open, 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 add that rotation at the shoulders and then coming on down and you should find you're sitting a little bit lower and you're coming up a little bit taller. Breathe. And then coming all the way up so your feet come back to neutral and rolling up through the body, leading through your belly button all the way up to the top and shaking it out okay so coming to the top of your mat toe mounds touching feet in line inhale arms come on up into your back bend and swan dive down inhale lift and lengthen exhale forward fold step it back or jump into your plank position and 
and lower yourself down, press yourself through into your up dog, loosen off at the hips to release off your lower back, lengthen through the crown of your head and then lead with your hips into your down dog, pedal out your feet, send your sit bones nice and high, pressing down through your heels, alternating between the two so that you get a nice stretch in your hammies and have a look towards your hands and step or jump your feet into a relaxed cross-legged position. So we're coming down into our sitting postures. So on our mat, we're now going to start to try and open up through the sides of our hips that might have been pinching before. So tuck your right leg under your left and come up so that you're sitting now square onto your sit bones. If you want to, you can straighten out that bottom leg, the right leg, just to make sure that you can get your sit bones down. So whatever feels comfortable for you. Or you can have a block under your sit bones so it just lifts you up a little bit higher. Hugging the left knee in towards your chest. Sitting up tall, hugging it in. Then placing your right arm over the top of your left knee. So you've got your knee in the crook of your elbow, sitting up nice and tall, having a twist. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to twist. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to twist. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to twist. And then releasing it back to the center. And then taking that foot a little bit further round so you're trying to get your knees on top of one another and getting your sit bones down so now you're sitting up nice and tall and you should feel a nice little stretch on the outsides of your hips and we're going to add a twist to that so bringing your arms all the way over the top and your right hand comes behind your sit bone and just add a twist into those legs Breathing in and out to twist. And then coming all the way over, so we're now going the opposite way and rotating over our top leg. And this time you can add a little bit of purchase on the top leg with your arm. So inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist. So you should feel yourself really growing out of your pelvis. So inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist. So I feel that really strongly through the left glute, left side of the hip, and coming back to the center. And as you know, we don't just stand up and we don't just switch over our legs. We like to try and stand up and leave our feet where they are, twist all the way round to come into cross leg sitting position on the other side. So this time your right knee is high and your left knee is low and you sit up nice and tall. We're going to twist to our right. So we're now taking our left arm round getting the crook of our elbow round our right knee and our right hand comes into our tailbone and sitting up nice and tall and adding a twist. So we're now getting all the way through the right glute and maybe into the top of the hamstring or, the, or where the glute inserts, your buttock muscle inserts, into the side of your leg. So coming up nice and tall, adding a twist. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist, and then slowly coming back to the center. We're now going to take the knees on top of one another, so really wrap your feet around your body. Again, if you want a block to sit on to make yourself higher, you're really trying to root yourself down through your sit bones, um, or you can take the bottom leg longer. So inhale, we're going to have a twist. So bringing our left hand to our tailbone and just twisting through, right hand comes over to add to that twist. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist. 
inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist, inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist. So you're really opening up through that left glute as you twist towards it, release any tension through as you twist the other way. Now you can use your top leg to get more purchase, right hand goes behind your tailbone, inhale to lengthen and twist the other way, inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist, inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist. And then releasing through the spine, coming back to the center and release your legs off and let them go out in front of you, shake them out, really release off any tension through them and come back up into a relaxed cross-legged position. And then we're going to take our legs out into a straddle pose. So sitting nice and wide exactly as we did in standing but we're now doing it in sitting it doesn't matter where your legs come to in your straddle pose it's just about getting that stretch into your adductors so sitting nice and tall in the middle and make sure that your weight is between the front of your pelvis and your two sit bones so you're creating that triangle that i talk about so sitting down nice and tall so rooting yourself down lengthening through the crown of your head and i just want you to rotate through your legs so you're rotating in and out of the hips so all the movement should be from the hips in their sockets and breathing in nice and tall reaching up out of your rib cage lengthen through and exhale try and get a forward fold it doesn't matter if it's just a slight forward fold or if you can tilt 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 again you're trying to get that length in your through your the crown of your head and tilt forward doesn't matter where you get to and it's about the hips moving as your spine comes forward and if you can get either your elbows or onto a block in front of you you can just rest forward so often if you've got a nice big cushion you can rest your head onto it just to sink into the pose a little bit more and waggle through your feet that's just releasing off your nervous system you can nod and shake your head if you're feeling it's particularly nervy so any kind of numbness tingling anything like that any strange sort of sensory issues that's probably your nervous system and then slowly walking your hands back up and bringing your feet back in and shake them out, out in front of you, shake them out, do what you need to do to release off all the tension into them and then bringing your feet together, dropping your knees out to the side so you're getting more of a, sh a stretch in your shorter adductors here. So initially feet are together and you're just bouncing your knees out into a butterfly pose you're going nice and long through the crown of your head and just allowing them to bounce out to the sides and then again you can add that slight tilt you don't have to go very far it's just a slight tilt to make sure that you're getting movement of your hips and your pelvis spine on your pelvis and breathe and then turning the soles of your feet up towards the ceiling so that they're opening more like a book and that way you're sending the stretch into the top of your adductors there opening it out so it sends it more to the pectineus 
and then coming through, rolling through your spine and slowly rolling back up and rolling through your spine and slowly rolling back up, rolling through your spine and slowly rolling it back up and releasing back to the center bring your knees in towards one another let your legs go long shake them out and coming back into a cross-legged position bring your hands up to your heart center and then relaxing them into a mudra of your choice so either into your lap or onto your knees, wherever you choose for your final arm. So, taking a nice deep inhale. Um, bring your hands up to your heart center, up to your third eye, back to your heart center. Namaste. Well done, hope your hips are feeling nice and open.